Well, hello there. It's Christian Youngren with Kaizen Automotive Consulting, bringing you more best automotive practices. Hey, dealers, sales managers, and sales professionals. Are you and your team finding it more and more difficult to be able to explain to your guest why the new vehicle on your showroom floor is priced $5,000 above the MSRP? Well, if this is you and your sales team, go ahead and make sure you stick around for this next video, and I'm going to show you a world-class way to be able to handle this recent objection that many dealers have been facing since they've tried to increase their market prices. Now, if this is your first time to our channel, and you want to improve your automotive selling skills, you want to learn how to use psychology to close more car deals and receive unbiased reviews on dealership product and service companies, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and then turn on that bell. That way you never miss out on learning anything new. Well, all right then, let's get to work. Let's face it, outside of a few special anniversary or sports editions, presenting new vehicle inventory with market adjusted prices that are higher than the MSRP, it's not the norm. Of course, until 2020 turned the whole world upside down. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you three best practices that'll give you the ammo that you're gonna to need to overcome any pushback or misunderstandings that could come about when you're trying to explain the increase of the MSRP. Best practice number one, shop your competition. You should make sure you know what your direct competitors are doing right there in your market. Are they charging over, under, right at stick, or what are they doing? Now to do this, I'd concentrate on a 30 mile or less radius, and I'd look at dealers 30 miles out and then I'd slowly make my search a little bit closer and then whenever I got to my local market I'd actually do something that we used to do and, and, and that's the old-fashioned way and that's jump in your car and drive over to the other dealership. See how they're displaying their window stickers. Are they putting an addendum on there with the increased amount? What's the language are they using? Adjusted market price? Increased market price? What are they are doing to market that increase or are they even increasing their prices at all? I think it'd probably be a good idea to know. Best practice number two, third-party documentation. I mean, think about it. In the last 15 years or so, hasn't third-party documentation just really become the new negotiation? I mean, where they're showing guests or at times they're showing us Kelly Blue Books and Black Book amounts, Edmund amounts of what their vehicle could or should be worth. And then you've got, what, usfueleconomy.gov where you can do side-by-side -side comparisons showing what gas mileage savings could be. So couldn't we just take and find an article or a graph that shows that there's a 25% increase over the last year on new vehicle MSRPs? Wouldn't that maybe help a little bit more with maybe that, say, analytical type of customer? That might just be what we need to just kind of nudge us right over the edge when we've got a guest that's kind of sitting there on the fence. Once you've completed best practice number one, which is to shop your competition, and then you've completed best practice number two, which is find a third-party validation that helps you with this increase, you're on to best practice number three, which is by far and foremost the best way to deal with this, and that is to tell a story as to why the price had to increase. Now you need to make sure you do this without hesitation or any sign of embarrassment. And in my opinion, really the only way or the best way to do this is to formulate your own story by first doing a little bit of research. So research the subject, Google it, and then go ahead and use your own imaginations and then put your thoughts down on paper. Once you get the thoughts and the words just right and you get your tonality just right, now it's time to go ahead and commit it to memory in the form of a word track. Now, keep in mind, to establish this type of a credibility, you're gonna to need to deliver this message in, in, in really a straightforward fashion, but yet you've gotta do it with tact and you've gotta do it with some empathy. I mean, no one wants to pay over sticker, right? And remember, this price adjustment stuff, it's not just new to us here at the dealerships, it's new to your guests. I mean, most of the guests, they don't pay even close to MSRP, let alone $5,000 over sticker. So their past purchases, they haven't had to pay this type of price, so it's, it's different for them. Now, I'm going to give you my straightforward yet empathetic word track on how you can handle and explain the market adjustment increases in today's market as we move into 2022. Now, Bill, I did want to point something out to you over here on the MSRP. Now, as you may have heard, there's been an extreme supply chain issue that's been affecting the entire world 
as we're trying to move out of this crazy global pandemic that's been affecting us for the what, last year and a half. Now the car business, they've been hit unquestionably hard with the supply of new cars just not being able to keep up with the crazy demand that we've had. Now at first, our dealership, we tried to resist increasing our prices. However, when this supply chain issue continued on and on, our profit loss statements just ultimately have made the decision for us. So we figured out that to pull through this, we just were going to have to balance out our prices to reflect the increase in the current market values due to this inventory shortage on new vehicles. Now there's some good news to this, and that is you're going to see an increased value for your car, which should cancel out any increased market adjustments on the new vehicle you're looking at. Virtually, it's going to take you back to the pre-pandemic days. Well, there you have it. A proactive, world-class, straightforward, yet empathetic response as to why you're charging $5,000 more than the MSRP. Now, until we see each other again next time, please make sure you keep following the Kaizen philosophy, which is small, incremental steps towards growth and improvement every single day that add up to big improvements over time.